What have you done? Um, poached egg on spinach and smashed avocado with feta and coriander. <laughs> I know what he's going to say here. I'm going that this is a perfect poached egg. <laughs> Thanks for the lesson, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous knowing that um, there's some kind of test about to happen. But let's stay with the basics. Last time it was fish, this time the wonderful, the versatile and the very, very unassuming... I'm hoping lamb or beef. Egg. <sighs> cool. Happy days, I'm the egg queen. Egg. We use eggs for so many things in cooking. Not only do we poach them, Boil them, fry them, and scramble them. We also make sauces, cakes, pastries, meringues. The list is endless. I love eggs. Eggs are awesome. I can eat like a dozen of eggs in one sitting. I don't eat egg. That said, you can't underestimate the ability to cook the perfect egg. How are we going here? Good. I um, was going to do an omelette, but I kind of overheard you say you'd do a poached egg, so I've changed my tune oh, really? and now really? I'm doing a poached egg. I can do a mean poached egg, and, and there's a real trick to it that I've been mastering for years. So what are we making? Mushroom and scrambled eggs. The trick with these is low and slow, so I'm just using the residual heat off the pan. Low and slow. Low and I slow like that, slow. mate. I like, I like that, mate. How much do you want to be standing up there? Mate, I want to get up there straight away. What have we got going? Um, I'm going to do a poached egg on a smashed avocado, feta and coriander. And okay. if I have time, spinach. You have time. <laughs> Lily is poaching an egg in red wine. I mean, it just, I don't know. The eggs poached in red wine is quite subtle, actually. It picks up some lovely colour. I've never seen that one before. I think it's a classic French dish. It's a classic. Yeah. You're going to really blow us away. A quarter of your time is gone already. That is how fast it's going to go. Start cutting the calf skin. Oh, cut the finger. I basically annihilate my finger. He's nailed it. He's properly. That is the pressure right there. Just haven't got time for this, you know? What is going on? Cut it real good. Got like seven minutes, mate. You have not got time for this. It's just turning into a nightmare. Right, I'm ready to go. What are you going to do with that egg? Um, I'm doing a twice cooked um, egg, so I'm pushing it and I'm frying it. Five minutes left to go. You are halfway. This is a quick fire challenge. Let's go. Step it up. So like I'm cooking this one today. <laughs> Come on, dude. Are your timing everything worked out? I hope so. I haven't cooked an omelette before, ever. All right, we've got three minutes left. We want the perfect egg on the plate in three minutes. It's a nice looking breakfast, isn't it? I'll be the judge of that. Okay. <laughs> my, oh my, is that the time? Two minutes. Two minutes to go. Boy, is it flying by. They're right in the zone, aren't they? I mean, no one even better than I let at that. No. All under control. Plating up now. One minute left, guys. Just 60 seconds. Watch the seasoning. Think about your final product. Take some time to make yep. it perfect, guys. It just shows you what you can do in 10 minutes. I mean, this is just that they're putting up little meals. 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Step back from your benches, please. The cook went really well. I love the dish I cooked. Feeling quite happy about my dish. I'm the queen of doing poached eggs, according to my kids. <laughs> I'm real happy with my dish. I think um, it's come up nicely. It's uh, Spanish-inspired um, omelette. And the asparagus is my sort of bit of toast with um, bacon on it and a gooey egg. Yum. Well, a little bit disappointed, but it didn't turn out as I was expecting it to be. So you fix them up, get them yep. ready, because if this dish ain't any good, yeah. you're going to be cook cooking again. again and yeah. uh, I'll decide whether that's the case. So what have we got? Like a Tuscan scramble sort of thing. What's the spice you used in there? Curry powder mm. and some egg spice. Yeah. You think it's perfectly cooked? Yeah. Confident? Confident. All right. Mark cuts into my egg and it just screams out beautifully. Hallelujah. I love salsa with eggs. 
So that's a good start. What I've noticed, a classic omelette has no colour. You left it on the pan for quite a long time. Yeah. And what does that do to an egg? It makes it tough. Yeah. So, red wine poached egg. Very soft egg. Great. Can you taste the red wine just a tad? Hmm. It's nice, actually. Why the lettuce? Adds a bit of freshness and crunch. It's like a fancy BLT. Now I'm thinking, oh my god, I've put too much on the plate again. The egg should be the hero. What is it? Oh, uh, it's supposed to be a twice cooked egg caprese. Poached the egg first, and then I had difficulty frying it in the end. Tasted better than it looked. Yeah. yeah. Low and slow scrambled eggs, wild mushrooms. Nowhere to hide. Mm -hmm. Got the seasoning right? Yep. Okay. I can't really tell what's going through his head. He's a hard man to read. <laughs> Amy. G'day. What have we got here? We've got some avocado, we've got poached eggs. Perfect poached eggs. When you use the word perfect poached eggs, mm -hmm. I mean, you are setting yourself up a little bit. I mean, that's a big call. <laughs> we haven't even call. gone, we haven't even had I a look know. in there, okay? Amy said her eggs were perfect. I probably wouldn't be saying that about mine until he tastes it. Okay, well, that's not perfect for me. The egg white is pretty runny there. How are you getting? I'm good, thanks. Yourself, mate? Good, man. So I've done uh, chorizo, uh, peppers through that, and uh, green onions as well. Well, the peppers, get them a bit more relative to the size of the dish. Sure. They're sort of big and long and stringy, and it's not necessarily the best part. What have we got in there? Feta cheese Feta. and thyme. This is your breakfast fare, is it? Yeah, I love the flavour of the omelette with the, the tomato. Seasoned really well, and they're really soft. Yeah, wet in the middle. Thank you. Mm. What have you done? Um, poached egg on spinach and smashed avocado with feta and coriander. <laughs> I know what he's going to say here. I'm going that this is a perfect poached egg. <laughs> Thanks for the lesson, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is a perfect poached egg. Well done. Glenda. Hi. A little test, mm. huh? Yeah, a lot of pressure. I don't really eat eggs. And what have you got in there? Um, I've done chorizo and halloumi. And you think you pulled it off? I'm hoping so. A little bit overcooked. Yeah, that pan was hot, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Seasoning's not too bad. Just made an omelette. Boom. Great. So what have we got? Chili coriander yogurt over the top with some avocado and bacon. Lemon juice on the avocado. Yeah. I mean, my first thing is that it's an egg challenge. Yeah. Sort of hidden it with some quite gutsy sausage. Seasoned well. See? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's Thank nice, sir. Thank you. Fried egg. Haven't fried seen egg. many fried eggs around. Oh, nice, mate. That's good, isn't it? Great. Happy with how it's gone. Our smile said it all, and I, and I think I've done enough. So that is the perfect skills test, really. Take the humble egg and turn it into something special. Egg cooking, we hope, will get you in the right head space for what's to come today. When you'll cook for a very special MasterChef guest. For now though, I'm going to select the best egg dish from what I tasted on the back bench. And that was cooked by Ben. Nice, ben. Josh announces his favorite egg is mine. I'm stoked. Your mushroom scrambled eggs were as close to perfect as an egg dish can get. Thank you. So while these guys toil away through the rest of the day, you get to watch from upstairs. Well done. <laughs> away you go. Well, upstairs, I'm, I'm really looking forward to missing out on the next challenge. And on the front bench, Victoria. That was paired back simplicity. You absolutely nailed poaching the egg. That was perfect. I'm absolutely ecstatic and knowing that then I'm safe for the next challenge. Good buddy. Good luck. I'm pretty relieved because I just have no idea what's in store for the others. For me, it was Hayley. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Another perfectly cooked poached egg. Beautifully cooked asparagus with pancetta, head upstairs. <laughs> <laughs>